Okay, Staples, if I understand you correctly, what you're looking to do is make an inside corner so that this part is all covered and you don't have that gap of a problem that you would have if there was no facing there. So this way, you have a seam here, because basically, because I don't know any other way to do it. If you find one, good for you, and uh, my feelings won't be hurt. But um, if you're using a print fabric, it's not going to be nearly so noticeable, or if you're using, I hope it's not stripes, because that would really make it noticeable. But I think that's what you're going after, a nice finished inside corner there. And the way we accomplished that was we took our, our top fabric and another piece of the scrap fabric. We put them right sides together like this. And we actually stitched out this corner like that. So I'll put them together and I'll stitch this corner. I'm sure you'll have to use better measurements than what I just did. Okay, let's go to the machine. Obviously, you'll try to get that at much better right angles than what I did. Okay, now, this is the corner where all your extra, extra fabric is going to be. So, you will want to, first off, cut as close to that corner as you dare. Okay, don't cut into the stitching, but cut that corner. And then just for, um, just to make it easier to wrap and a lot less bulk, I have removed that actual corner piece. Okay, now you've stitched this right sides together, obviously, so that when you fold this back, you're going to have the pretty sides showing. Now, in order to reduce this bulk even further, what I did was I took this corner and I cut it back to that seam, the, to the same, same corner I cut the inside one to. I just didn't cut very far, did I? Okay, now you have this floppy piece of fabric. Put this back on your cushion. You can wrap this side down and this side down and you've covered up you've covered up your seam. Now you have X or you've covered up your corner. It'll be a little bit raggedy there on the bottom, but you shouldn't you shouldn't be visible and you'll have this seam up on the top and the closer you can get to that right angle and those stitches with your clipping the less puckering that you'll have there um, but I think that's going to get it for you. You can see the difference is in that I've overlapped these at the angle that you need and, and that's what brings it together when you do the reverse and you'll have that nice stitching. If you didn't do that you just cut your corner like you say if you just cut your corner you're going to end up with a big gap there and that's what you're trying to avoid so to avoid doing that put like a placket piece on top make your cuts on that on the back the corner where you're cutting out and on the placket piece and then you will be able to do the wrapping using that placket so that it goes like that. Clear as mud, right? You have a nice finish on the bottom. You're going to have a seam here. And then this will just be folded over. I hope that was clear and I hope that works for you. Otherwise, the best thing I can tell you is just we'll keep searching the internet and figure out how to do it. Um, but that's, that's pretty much the only way I know to do unless you start making like a, a three inch gusset or a four inch gusset all along your edge. You could do that and then that would be the part that drops over the foam on the edge and then actually wrap that in the back. You might try that. I hope that works. Good luck and show me pictures when it's all done. Bye!